Welcome to Celestial Chronicles. In today's video, we're diving into the extraordinary life of Dorothy Eady, a woman whose incredible story intertwines with the ancient past in a way that has fascinated and mystified people for decades. Dorothy Eady believed she was the reincarnation of a 3,000-year-old Egyptian priestess named Bentrashit. Her story begins with a life-changing accident in her childhood and leads to groundbreaking contributions to archaeology that continue to impact the field today. Dorothy Eady's journey is both fascinating and mysterious. After surviving a near-death experience as a child, Dorothy began exhibiting behaviors and knowledge that were inexplicable. Her deep connection to ancient Egypt was evident from a young age. She recognized artifacts and locations she had never seen before and spoke about them with familiarity and passion. This intense connection guided her entire life and led her to move to Egypt, where she adopted the name Amseti. In this video, we'll explore the different stages of Dorothy's remarkable life. We'll look at her early years, the accident that changed everything, and how she began to show signs of remembering a past life. We'll delve into her deep and almost mystical connection to ancient Egypt, which went far beyond a mere interest or hobby. Dorothy's astonishing knowledge baffled experts, as she provided insights and made predictions about ancient sites that were later proven accurate. Her contributions to archaeology were significant and earned her respect in the scholarly community, despite the controversy surrounding her claims of reincarnation. Are you curious about reincarnation? Do you wonder if past lives can truly influence our present? Dorothy Eady's story raises these intriguing questions and invites us to consider the possibilities. Her life challenges our understanding of memory, identity, and the mysteries of human consciousness. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, her story is sure to captivate your imagination and make you think about the potential connections between our past and present lives. Join us as we unravel the story of Dorothy Eady, exploring her profound connection to the ancient world and the lasting impact she left on the field of archaeology. We'll take you through her childhood experiences, her studies and work in Egypt, and the legacy she left behind. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories and discussions. Your support helps us continue to bring you fascinating content that explores the wonders and mysteries of our world. Now, let's embark on this incredible journey into the life of Dorothy Eady, a woman whose story bridges the gap between the mystical and the scholarly, and who continues to inspire and intrigue people around the world. Dorothy Eady's Early Life and Accident Dorothy Louise Eady was born in London in 1904. Her life seemed typical until the age of three, when she experienced a severe accident that changed everything. Edie fell down a flight of stairs, an incident that led to a near-death experience. Doctors initially believed she had died, but miraculously, she survived. However, from that moment on, Dorothy's behavior began to change in ways no one could have predicted. Have you ever heard stories about children who recall memories from places they've never been? After her accident, Dorothy started speaking of Egypt, a land she had never visited. She would ask to be taken home to Egypt, a plea that baffled her parents. How could a young girl in London have such a strong connection to a distant, ancient land? Edie's connection to ancient Egypt. As Dorothy grew older, her fascination with Egypt only intensified. She visited the British Museum with her parents and, upon entering the Egyptian exhibits, she felt an overwhelming sense of recognition. Dorothy claimed to recognize the artifacts and statues, insisting she knew these relics from a previous life. Imagine walking into a museum and feeling as though you were stepping into your own home from thousands of years ago, could there be an explanation for such a profound connection? Dorothy's knowledge of ancient Egypt was uncanny. She began to study hieroglyphics, quickly becoming proficient. Her assertions became more specific as she claimed to remember her past life in vivid detail. Dorothy believed she was Bentrashit, a priestess in the temple of Seti I. She recounted memories of her life in the temple, her duties, and even interactions with the pharaoh. Edie's contributions to archaeology. When Dorothy Edie first started making claims about her past life in ancient Egypt, many people were skeptical. How could a woman in the 20th century have such detailed and accurate knowledge about a civilization that existed thousands of years ago? Despite the doubts and initial skepticism, Dorothy, who adopted the name Amseti after moving to Egypt, began to prove that her knowledge was incredibly valuable. Once she settled in Egypt, Amseti dedicated her life to studying what she considered her former homeland. She lived near the temple of Seti I in Abydos, a place she claimed to remember vividly from her past life. Her familiarity with the temple and its surroundings was uncanny. She seemed to know things that only someone with first-hand experience could know. 
One of Amseti's most remarkable contributions to archaeology was her ability to predict the locations of unexcavated sites. For example, she accurately identified the locations of ancient gardens and hidden chambers that had eluded archaeologists for centuries. Her predictions were not vague guesses, they were precise and often led to significant discoveries. One famous instance was her guidance in finding the temple's ancient garden. Archaeologists had been searching for this garden for a long time without success. Amseti led them to a specific spot and insisted they dig there. To their astonishment, they found the remains of the ancient garden exactly where she had indicated. This was just one of many times her insights led to important discoveries. In addition to predicting locations of physical sites, Amseti also provided detailed knowledge about the daily life, rituals, and practices of ancient Egyptians. She could read and understand hieroglyphics, the written language of ancient Egypt, with remarkable skill. Her interpretations and translations of texts were highly valued by scholars. Because of her extensive knowledge and successful predictions, Amseti earned a great deal of respect from many archaeologists and Egyptologists. They couldn't deny that her contributions had real value, even if they were unsure about the source of her knowledge. Some wondered if her knowledge came from meticulous study and an extraordinary memory, while others considered the possibility that her memories were genuinely from another life. Despite the ongoing debate about the origins of her knowledge, Dorothy Eady's work has left a lasting impact on the field of archaeology. Her insights and discoveries continue to be studied and appreciated, demonstrating that even the most extraordinary claims can sometimes lead to real and valuable contributions to our understanding of the past. Legacy and Impact Dorothy Eady, known to many as Amseti, left an enduring legacy that continues to fascinate and inspire. Her life story is often cited as some of the most compelling evidence for the possibility of reincarnation. She managed to bridge the gap between the mystical and the scholarly, demonstrating that even the most extraordinary claims can sometimes have a basis in reality. Amseti's contributions to the study of ancient Egypt have been recognized and appreciated by scholars, archaeologists, and enthusiasts alike. Her detailed knowledge of ancient Egyptian culture, her ability to read and interpret hieroglyphics, and her uncanny knack for predicting the locations of unexcavated sites all contributed significantly to the field of Egyptology. Her insights led to the discovery of previously unknown structures and artifacts, which enriched our understanding of ancient Egyptian civilization. Beyond her archaeological contributions, Dorothy Eady's story has sparked broader discussions about the nature of memory, identity, and the possibility of past lives. Her case has been the subject of numerous books, documentaries, and articles, each exploring different facets of her life and the extraordinary claims she made. Her story challenges conventional explanations and invites us to consider the mysteries of human consciousness and the potential for experiences beyond the physical life we know. Amseti's dedication to ancient Egypt was unwavering. She lived her life according to the beliefs and customs she remembered from her past life as Bentreshit, a priestess in the temple of Seti I. Her ability to recall specific details from thousands of years ago and the accuracy of her knowledge continue to be topics of intrigue and debate. What do you think about Dorothy Eady's story? Do you believe in reincarnation, or do you think there could be another explanation for her extensive knowledge of ancient Egypt? Could it be the result of an extraordinary memory, extensive study, or something more mystical? We invite you to share your thoughts and engage in this fascinating discussion in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and mystery. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more intriguing stories and explorations of the unknown. Until next time, keep exploring the mysteries of our world and beyond. Let's delve deeper into each chapter of Dorothy Eady's remarkable life, unraveling the mysteries that make her story so extraordinary. Dorothy Eady's Early Life and Accident Dorothy Eady was a lively child, born into a middle-class family in London. Her early years were filled with the typical joys and experiences of a young girl growing up in the early 1900s. However, her life took a dramatic turn when she was just three years old. One fateful day, Dorothy fell down a flight of stairs in her home. The fall was severe, and by the time her parents reached her, they believed she had died. She was unresponsive, and the situation seemed dire. The family doctor was called, and after a thorough examination, he confirmed the worst, Dorothy was pronounced dead. Imagine the heartbreak and despair of her parents at that moment. But then, something extraordinary happened. Just as preparations were being made for her burial, Dorothy woke up. She came back to life, much to the astonishment of everyone around her. 
But this miraculous recovery was only the beginning of a series of events that would define her life. After her accident, Dorothy began to exhibit strange behaviors. She started speaking with an unfamiliar accent and displayed knowledge of things she had never been exposed to. Most notably, she began talking about Egypt. She claimed to remember living in a grand house with large columns, and she insisted that Egypt was her true home. How could a three-year-old girl in London have such vivid memories of a place she had never been? This question puzzled her parents and everyone who knew her. Dorothy's insistence on being taken home to Egypt became a recurring plea. She would cry for her real home, much to the confusion and concern of her family. As Dorothy grew older, her fascination with Egypt did not wane. Instead, it grew stronger. She would draw pictures of ancient temples and write in a script that resembled hieroglyphics. Her parents, baffled by her behavior, sought help from various doctors and psychologists. However, no one could provide a satisfactory explanation for her knowledge and memories. Do you think it's possible for a child to remember details from a past life? Or could there be another explanation for Dorothy's extraordinary knowledge of ancient Egypt? Edie's connection to ancient Egypt. Dorothy Edie's connection to ancient Egypt was not just a fleeting childhood interest, it became a profound and central part of her identity. This connection became especially apparent during a visit to the British Museum when she was a young girl. Her parents, hoping to help her come to terms with her fascination, decided to take her to see the Egyptian exhibits. They thought that seeing the artifacts might help satisfy her curiosity. However, what happened during that visit was beyond anything they could have expected. As soon as Dorothy entered the Egyptian room, she was overcome with excitement. She ran around the exhibits, exclaiming that she recognized many of the artifacts and statues. To her, these were not just museum pieces, they were familiar objects from her past. Dorothy's. Parents watched in astonishment as their young daughter navigated the room with a sense of familiarity that seemed impossible. At one point, Dorothy approached a statue of the pharaoh Seti I, kissed its feet, and declared it to be someone she knew. Her parents were not only amazed but also deeply concerned. How could their child have such a strong emotional reaction to ancient relics she had never seen before? This visit to the museum only deepened Dorothy's conviction that she had lived a past life in ancient Egypt. She became even more determined to learn everything she could about this ancient civilization. Dorothy began to study Egyptology with a fervor that was highly unusual for someone of her age. She devoured any books she could find on the subject and quickly learned to read hieroglyphics, displaying an aptitude that astonished her teachers and peers. Her passion for Egypt was not just a passing interest, it became the central focus of her life. As Dorothy grew older, her claims about her past life in ancient Egypt became more detailed and specific. She asserted that she had been Bentrashit, a priestess in the temple of Seti I. According to her, Bentrashit was a young woman dedicated to serving the gods in the temple. Dorothy described her life in the temple with vivid detail, recounting her daily duties, rituals, and interactions with the pharaoh. She spoke of specific ceremonies, the layout of the temple, and even the people she had known in her past life. Dorothy's detailed memories were not just vague impressions, they were precise and consistent. She could describe the architecture of the temple, the daily routines of the priests and priestesses, and the religious practices of the time. Her accounts were so detailed that they intrigued and puzzled many Egyptologists and scholars. What do you think about Dorothy's detailed memories? Could they be the result of an overactive imagination, or is there something more to her story? Could her deep connection to ancient Egypt be explained by reincarnation, or might there be another explanation for her extensive knowledge and emotional ties to this ancient civilization? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's explore these intriguing questions together. Edie's Contributions to Archaeology Dorothy's life took a significant turn when she decided to move to Egypt in the early 1930s. She felt an irresistible pull to return to her homeland, and she followed her heart. Once in Egypt, she adopted the name Amseti, which means, Mother of Seti. Her new name reflected her deep connection to the pharaoh Seti I, whom she claimed to have known in her past life. Amseti settled in the town of Abidus, near the temple of Seti I. Her knowledge of the temple and its surroundings was astonishing. She guided archaeologists to areas that had not yet been excavated, predicting the locations of hidden chambers and ancient gardens with remarkable accuracy. Her insights led to several significant discoveries, including previously unknown structures and artifacts. One of her most notable predictions was the location of the Garden of the Temple of Seti I. Archaeologists had been searching for this garden for years without success. 
Amseti led them to a specific spot and insisted that the garden was there. When they began digging, they indeed found the remains of the ancient garden, exactly where she had said it would be. Could Dorothy's knowledge of ancient Egypt be the result of thorough study, or is it possible that her memories were genuinely from another life? Her contributions to archaeology were so significant that even the skeptics had to acknowledge her expertise. Despite the initial skepticism, Amseti earned the respect of many in the field of Egyptology. She worked closely with several prominent archaeologists and played a crucial role in the exploration of the Temple of Seti I. Her ability to read and understand hieroglyphics, coupled with her detailed knowledge of ancient Egyptian culture, made her an invaluable asset to the archaeological community. Do you think it's possible for someone to have such detailed and accurate knowledge without having studied extensively? Or do you believe in the possibility of reincarnation, legacy and impact? Dorothy Eady, also known as Amseti, passed away in 1981, but her legacy continues to live on and captivate the imaginations of people worldwide. Her life story is often cited as one of the most compelling cases of reincarnation. Dorothy's extraordinary claims and the detailed knowledge she possessed about ancient Egypt have made her a subject of numerous books, documentaries, and articles. Each new exploration into her life reveals fascinating details and renews the intrigue surrounding her story. Amseti's contributions to the study of ancient Egypt are still recognized and celebrated today. Her work at the Temple of Seti I in Abydos, where she lived and worked for many years, has left an indelible mark on the field of Egyptology. She possessed an intimate knowledge of the temple and its history, often providing insights that were later confirmed by archaeological evidence. Her ability to bridge the mystical and the scholarly showed that even the most extraordinary claims could have a basis in reality. One of the most remarkable aspects of Amseti's legacy is her detailed recollections of her supposed past life as Bentrashid, a priestess in the temple of Seti I. She described the temple's layout, daily rituals, and interactions with the pharaoh with a vividness that impressed and puzzled Egyptologists. Her descriptions often matched later discoveries, adding to the credibility of her claims and deepening the mystery of her knowledge. Amseti's life raises intriguing questions about the nature of memory and identity. How could she have such accurate and specific knowledge of ancient Egyptian culture without formal training? Was her knowledge the result of an extraordinary memory, intensive study, or something more mystical like reincarnation? Her story challenges conventional explanations and invites us to consider the possibility of past lives and the mysteries of human consciousness. What do you think about the concept of reincarnation? Do you believe it's possible to remember past lives, or do you think there could be another explanation for Dorothy Eady's knowledge and experiences? Could her detailed memories and profound connection to ancient Egypt be more than just coincidence? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's explore these fascinating questions together. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the extraordinary life of Dorothy Eady. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more captivating stories. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Dorothy Eady's story, so feel free to share your opinions in the comments below. Your engagement helps us bring more intriguing content to our channel. As we conclude this in-depth exploration of Dorothy Eady's life, we hope her story has inspired you and sparked your curiosity about the mysteries of our world. Whether you believe in reincarnation or not, there's no denying that Dorothy Eady's life was extraordinary and her contributions to the study of ancient Egypt were significant. Her story invites us to ponder the nature of our existence and the possibilities that lie beyond our current understanding. What do you think about Dorothy Eady's experiences? Do they change your perspective on the possibility of past lives, or do you think there's a different explanation? Share your thoughts in the comments, and let's keep the conversation going. Your insights and perspectives add depth to our exploration of these intriguing topics. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more fascinating stories and discussions. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders and mysteries of our world and beyond.